Hello, hello, it's Trailer Tuesday. I have something super exciting to share that we did to our trailer and I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. I'm gonna take you through the whole process, but we did some great lighting inside the trailer. So these lights were sent to me by Vaunt. I did a video for Vaunt or included them in one of my videos a while back with some lanterns that I still love and they're packed in my trailer right now. Very nice. And when she reached out to me, did I want to try some of these lights? I, I had just ordered some, literally just ordered some. So I said, sure. So I could just send the other ones back and try Vaunt. And so I'm pretty convinced that it was just a really neat coincidence. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Vaunt. And it's an excellent product, beautifully packaged, and it has its own app. These were the things I told her, if this works this way, then I will take it. It had to have its own app. It had to be work, worked by my phone. And it had to have more than one color or setting so that I could choose. And other than that, I, I just wanted to have these little strips to stick on and, you know, super easy. Oh my gosh, if you have a camper, you're going to want these lights. It's just so nice. So sometimes we're watching a movie or something on TV and you don't want this big overhead light shining down on you. So otherwise you're in the dark. So now we'll be able to just turn on some low lights. Uh, we have them under the counter in the kitchen, under the bed and behind the sofa. And it just provides this nice ambient lighting that I think is going to be great. So I can turn them up and down with the phone. They're all separate. It's just super cool. So let me just take you through the unboxing, the installation, and show you them in action. This is the Vaunt light strip box. Let's see what we've got inside. You need chaos in your soul to give birth to a dancing star. Hmm. So you get your lights, they're on a little wheel here. Unroll me before we rock and roll. So you wanna unroll it before you turn it on, for sure. There's more. So pull this up and we've got all the pieces we need here. So you've got the power cord and the controller and these are little um, extra sticky and screw holders for hard to hard to stick places. This has sticky back, so you may not even need this, but you have it if you do need it. And then you also have a little bit of instruction. There's a manual online like this. Oh, primer, so you can kind of clean the surface right there little card with all the download information and some easy instructions. So it says you want to connect the light strip controller to make sure it's there's a little clip that holds that together. Smooth flat surfaces, slowly unroll and stick and then continue to press as you peel the paper off. If you get a corner, there's a corner and there's where you cut it. And then they have some free deals. Very nice. So there it is. Uh, my son and his partner have just been excellent at their lighting. And I was kind of thinking it was so cool how they could operate all their lighting with their phone. I asked for some help. So it's pretty exciting to have somebody come in and share their expertise. And he didn't just help me, he sort of did it all. <laughs> My son's boyfriend came over to the trailer and he gave me all his ideas and then he proceeded to just install the lights for me. So I really literally did nothing except moral support. But because I was free to sort of watch, I videoed the whole process and his thought process for you. So I can show you everything that he did. He did some very cool things. First little strip and it's looking amazing. Look how cute he went around the doggy bag holder. Pedro, say hi, Pedro. Hola. <laughs> so he's been installing. How amazing does it already look? And he has an idea. So we finished going around the kitchenette corner here. 
So we're thinking about drilling just tiny little notches right here mm -hmm. to stick through there. So now we could have some under lighting inside the cabinets and inside the little uh, nook in there so you don't have to use a flashlight anymore. Oh my gosh, I love now that idea. Now you have this little light that you don't waste and now you have it Inside the cabinet. Yeah. That's going to be amazing. Okay, yes to that. Perfect. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh my gosh. Mood lighting for sure. That's cool. He wanted to light the slide and he still wants to light the slide and he may still light the slide, but I didn't necessarily because it's a moving part and that means the cords would be going in and out and I'd be the one to get it caught for sure. So that's the only thing we didn't do that he wanted to do. But let me just take you through the whole thing. There's the Vaunt app. I'm just gonna open that. And now it shows my three different strips. So this is says sofa, I named them, sofa, bedroom, and kitchen. So let's just start with the kitchen. It's not on, so I'm gonna turn it on. And there it is. So what I have is choices on, um, I could change the lighting, I can do all kinds of stuff. Turn it to blue, let's leave it blue. Now let's go back and let's do the bedroom. So if you look down the hallway, <clears throat> you'll see the bedroom. I'm going to turn it on. Oh, it's on. Isn't that neat? Okay, so I'm going to do the sofa. That's behind us. And what's neat about that is it gives us this ambient light. So we're in here. Let me turn it to you. It's red is kind of blaring. Let's do the blue. I like that. Oh, here's something cool. It has these little settings, so it's kind of like it decides Sunset, Aurora, I like Aurora, winter, fall. It's just, it's just, just, there's more that I could tell you. You just need to get the app. Uh, so that's pretty much it. One strip right here, it goes all the way around in here. And then I wanna show you this. Hubby's gonna open this cabinet and show you what it looks like. Um, what we had is we had a lot left over and we drilled a little hole here and we put lights inside so that this is actually lit up and it goes around into here so it's lit up. Normally this would just be dark. And I'll show you a cabinet that not, that's not lit up. See, it's just dark. And that one is not dark. Isn't that cool? It's dark down below. It's just on this top shelf. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Why'd you do that for? So what do you think? Uh, it's super mo mondo mod, man. Mondo what? Yeah. And we are going to be, you know, cruising and popping at the campsite. I shouldn't have even asked him anything. <laughs> do you like it? Yeah, it's very cool. All right. Well, we'll try it on our next trip. <laughs> That's yeah, it's very, very nice. I love the changing of the colors and everything. It's very cool. I'll let you control it sometime. Yay! All right, bye. So this strip is behind the sofa. It goes all the way around. And uh, it just lights it up. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. So that's soft. And then uh, nothing in here. I was thinking of doing one uh, here behind the TV. And I have two strips left. And I was thinking of doing uh, around this slide. So that might happen, and if it does, I will bring it to you. And then the bedroom is just under the bed. It goes all the way around. So it starts at the plug, and it goes actually inside that little cubby. We had extra. So it goes inside the cubby and goes all the way down and around the bed. So it's really just nice. If it was super dark, this would be nice to be able to kind of see where you're walking. Isn't that neat? And then uh, I also could put one in the bathroom. Where couldn't you put it? <laughs> but this is where I have it. I have three strips and uh, we'll see. Okay. So we're done. Let's turn them off. So that's the bedroom. Did you see the bedroom go off? And now we're gonna go back and we'll do the kitchen. And we'll turn that one off. 
and that one's off. And then we'll turn off the sofa. It just has to connect a little. And it's off. It's just that easy. Whoops. That's it. So wasn't that cool? It was really funny because um, I was in the house and I looked out at the trailer and I could see a light was on inside. <laughs> I thought, what? I didn't mean to leave a light on. So I didn't run out to the trailer. I just pulled up my phone and there it was. And I just went, nope, turned it off. That's pretty cool. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can go to the, the Vaunt website. They have all the answers and they'll, uh, they have the help. I think a help thing too, that you can check. But I have a link to purchase them on Amazon in my description. So if you want to take a look at that. And uh, again, thank you so much, Vaunt. I love the lights. Was that a mosquito? <laughs> I hope it wasn't. So we're looking forward to trying them out on our next trip. And uh, thank you so much for stopping by for Trailer Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed this latest update. It's getting fancy. It's getting pretty fancy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.